And we are going to see more of that extreme heat over the coming days. Today's high hit 98 degrees, breaking last year's record high of 97. And remember last year, July, August, we had that long stretch of mid upper 90s and even triple digits. We got close today and could get close again tomorrow with a near 100 degree afternoon. That's the actual temperature, not including the heat indices, which will make it feel more like 112 or greater, especially if the dew point are as high as they were today. Again, the heat index takes into account the higher humidity. Now, the current heat index still makes it feel well into the 90s across the South Shore. Feels like the 80s where temperatures are a little bit lower north of the lake. 70s compared to the upper 80s and still a 90 degree reading at lakefront with a dew point there of 71. It's August. We cannot get rid of the humidity. All you can do is maybe hope for more dew points like this upper 60s and lower 70s had that yesterday and the heat indices weren't quite as high at the moment still feels like 94 at Kenner under clear skies north winds at 12 miles an hour not much of the way of cloud cover but right along the coast you might see down to the south some what people would call heat lightning there is no such thing all you're seeing is lightning off in the distance too far to really hear any thunder but it also is elevated we're looking at storms that are near the mouth of the river uh, around uh, uh, say pilot town so that's about as far away from the coast uh, or at least as far away from the city as those storms are. But sometimes you can kind of see the flashing of the uh, tops of those thunderstorms. Otherwise, we have no rain around us underneath that ridge of high pressure, which is going to dominate for the rest of the week, weekend and most of next week. It doesn't look like this pattern really breaks down until we get kind of beyond our forecast here. I've got our model stopping on Thursday. So for the next seven days, longer range does indicate we should start to see some upper troughing coming Coming out of Canada and the Ohio Valley that may help to force the upper high a bit more to the west and maybe allow for some better rain chances here. But in the near future, next seven days at least, those temperatures mid upper 90s. And that's about all we can hope for with the temperatures into the rest of this week. Doesn't look like we're going to see any rain to help cool things down. So we just have to kind of grin and bear it. Tropical depression, Debbie, unorganizing as it has been inland, but still quite a bit of rainfall. You'll notice those tornado watches on the eastern side, northeastern side. This storm is going to be more of a uh, rainmaker than anything as it continues along the eastern seaboard, but inland enough to where most of the com uh, coastal communities will probably avoid some of the heaviest of the rains. The other area that we're going to be watching over the next several days is still well out in the central Atlantic, but over the course of the end of the weekend, more so early to mid next week, this is the zone of potential development as it nears the islands. Right now, the wave nothing but an unorganized mess of th storms. So until it gets better organized, the models are going to be going back and forth. But one thing that has been a trend of the models that have been kind of picking up on this, uh, trying to form bit of organization based on both the GFS and the Euro, and also some pretty decent agreement in the models going through early to mid next week, taking it around the island, staying north uh, generally of the greater Antilles. So Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, around the Turks and Caicos and long Longer range models turn this out over the open Atlantic waters, and let's hope that is the case. Again, too soon to know exactly what that storm is going to do, if anything, but we've got plenty of time to watch it. High near 99 degrees, so approaching 100, but really the heat will continue through the weekend and next week.